Good day, this is Rory. Today is Friday, May the 28th, 2021, for me, another day of social distancing. I hope that you, your family, friends, and loved ones are doing well, staying safe, getting vaccinated. I do apologize, lupus does, and can affect your voice, and I'm having one of those days where it's affecting my voice, and, um, you know, I promise to keep it real doing these, so I'm going to do it, plan hurt, and, um, it's kind of a brief recap of the week. This is not going to be a long video because um, I want to keep in mind that this is a Memorial Day weekend. And, um, you know, I just wanted to post something before the weekend started and um, talk about my plans for tomorrow. So, um, yeah, this week, a um, full day of work in the industry that I work in. Generally, the last week of the month um, can be busy and um, it's definitely lived up to that, so, um, I had a lot of work to do, it wasn't anything overwhelming, but, um, definitely requires a lot more concentration, you know, uh, making sure that I'm not, um, making a lot of mistakes, or as we like to say, minimizing mistakes, and, um, so focused on work, and, um, I had a doctor's appointment on Thursday, it was with a dermatologist first time meeting with a dermatologist uh, since being a kid and um, wanted to talk about some concerns I had with um, some of the hives that I have and the extreme dry skin on my extremities and um, it, it was okay, it was, it was good um, it, it, you know, you check my labs so, you know, my kidneys look good and the last labs that I had which was back in March. I'm probably due for another rheumatology appointment here shortly. And um, prescribed me a couple of things. And um, as a matter of fact, hold on one second. Man. I got, got some right here. Um, it's called Vanny Cream. And um, I tried it out. I actually got it today. I ordered it yesterday on Amazon. It came in today and tried it out. And it doesn't feel, you know, very greasy. It seems like it's a really uh, good lotion to try. So I'm going to recommend it um, that you give it a shot. It wasn't that expensive. I think um, I paid about 10 bucks for that bottle. And um, he also prescribed, um, I'm sorry, recommended a body wash for um, body acne. That's probably TMI, but whatever. And I should begin that sometime next week. Um, I did work from home pretty much every day except for Monday. I uh, went in and um, I had some issues with the internet. And I may have mentioned it, I'm not sure, in a previous video this week that I posted. And um, then next week I will be going in to work. We're off on Monday in observance for Memorial, of Memorial Day. And um, anyway, tomorrow I will be going to the my storage unit so pretty much all my things I would say about 95% of the things that I have and own are in storage and have been in storage for over two years now um, yeah well actually it was let me see it was August of 2019 so almost two years it's been in storage and um, I've only gotten a couple things out of there hardly anything Everything else is in storage, and I have tons and tons and tons of books. And I'm at the point now where I'm ready to sell the books. So be on the lookout. I might um, even post a link to where you can find those books for sale. And um, I have a huge collection. It's massive. That's, it probably takes up a bulk of my storage unit. Um, a little bit sad to let it go, but you know I'm in a place where it's like, okay. Um, it, it can be better used for someone else. And I would say, you know, I've read the bulk of them. I can't say I've read all of them. You know, some of them were reference books, uh, books that I was using for teaching. Uh, some of them are even school books. Uh, but I do have a lot of history books, um, some religious, religious books. I have um, music books. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell a lot of those. The music books, you know, could come in handy if I decide to... Um, teach virtually uh, but yeah all in all I will say the collection I have is close to 2,000 books uh, stop counting after about 1,400 books so 
anyway I'll be talking about that in a future video but um, yeah before I finish it I'm gonna say something that I don't think I've said much in my previous videos but I just wanted to say I'm grateful for the support I have from my parents and um, you know even though I keep to myself a lot it's because I'm done with depression and um, still trying to navigate and um, figure out who I am in this world dealing with lupus, taking all these medications, having the doctor's appointments, spending countless amount of dollars on health care and, and um, you know, paying down debt and all those things. And it's a lot to take on, but, you know, I, I can do it without my, my parents' help. And, um, you know, I'm definitely getting in a better place, hopefully a more stable place with my health. And, um, and yeah, hopefully I can um, be be of help to them as much as they've helped me over the years. Okay, uh, before I go, I just want to say um, if I have any military that are watching, or I'm sorry, people who have lost um, loved ones in the military, and I've lost a relative um, in war. So yeah, I just want to say thank you to the brave men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice and you know as best we can let's remember those who have courageously given their lives and I will see you in the next video I'm going to wrap up you all take care